war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid for myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. What is up, guys? Maple Warlock again. I know, I know. The Maple Warlock. I've been working, trying to get my uh, things a little uh, fixed up here, so I was doing a little Fallout 4 testing while uh, 76 was down for some maintenance today. Tragically, I have to run her on some pretty low graphic settings, so I, I, I can see the... Uh, the shadows under their chins are a little off, but hey, doesn't bother me. Still, still prettier than uh, a lot of a lot of the nonsense I've played some days. I'm gonna decide who we're gonna be here and. Hey, it's my turn, big guy. Yeah, and we'll uh, we'll get into this. So uh, I might do a little jump in here just so you don't have to sit here and watch this, because you know how these games go. I could spend hours at this. So here we are guys, I'm still torn, I'm not sure which one I'm going to really play as, but I've been playing with them a little bit. I might be her. I always, I always play dudes. And, I don't know. I might flip a coin here. I'm going to flip a coin. Here, hang on. Wait, wait. Magic bag here. Put up a chance. So I have a d20, and I'm going to roll it, and we'll do high-low. She is going to be low, and he will be high. So above 10, I'll be him, and below 10, I'll be her. It is a four. Four. I promise I didn't cheat, so I guess that, that decided it then. I'm going to be her. The fates. The fates have spoken. So there it is. So let's do this thing. Let's... I think one day he's going to learn how to drive. Oh, yeah. Pressure it into shit. Sorry, don't swear, kids. I wonder what Sean will grow up to be. I wonder indeed. I'll admit, I kind of know where the story goes, so not like a big thing, but I go to sleep. Don't want to get caught by the copyright police again because I just realized that was playing in the background for how long. Need to get dressed twice. I'm so proud of him. Just so proud. Good old U.S. of A. Hoorah, America! Let Codsworth take care of it. I let Codsworth do it. Codsworth seems like he's got nothing to do. Instamash, fancy lad snack cakes, Blamco mac and cheese, expires in never. 
to a pack of cigarettes. Never gonna find that dog. <laughs> it's like the Brady Bunch's dog it just kind of went upstairs and never came back. Oh nope. Don't want to. Don't want to not touch everything. I mean, I gotta touch everything. Just like a little kid. Looks like the milk got delivered. Please stand by while I drink a little more coffee. Sorry, guys. Yeah, that's persistent. I'll give him that. Yep. Well, he's gonna be a while. That's a little early to be drinking. <laughs> Says her. Good morning. Voltec calling. I'll be polite. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Big urgency? What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the oh. big kaboom is... It's inevitable. So I'm vulgar. Afraid. And coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know. Hint, hint, nudge, know. nudge, wink, wink. So yeah. I take up much of your time. Time being um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you. It's an ominous at all. Of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Um, go away. Sounds great. Go away. Uh, just go away. Won't take but a moment. We do need to verify some information to make sure you're cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of <coughs> total atomic annihilation. The apocalypse. Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now. Let's see. <laughs> name. Uh, oh, geez, we need a good name. This might take a second, guys. Hang on. There, yeah, I think that's about right. It doesn't Wonderful. really matter. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey. <laughs> oh, of course. No sooner did I sit down, play with the baby. My boy isn't or, giving well, any trouble, is he? Play, play with the whatever, the mutant. The Look at you, Mr. Proud of yourself. You fixed the mobile. Ooh, fix the mobile, Mr. Fix the mobile. Look at you, oh, Mr. Smug and his ability to fix the mobile. Hope that song's not copyrighted. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Let's be sarcastic again. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Man, I wish the news was anchored by Ron Perlman. Would that not be cool? Let's go. Stay safe, honey. <laughs> Did she just call the robot honey? Stay safe, honey. I'll keep you safe, honey. Just calm the line up the hill. da 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 Oh, is it? It's like, why do the vault tech guys look like they're in better, like, protective gear than the army guys? Other than, I guess, the other, there's a couple guys there in power armor. That was pretty heavy-duty stuff. But, like, yeah, look, you know what I mean? Look at this guy. Oh, he's got a laser rifle. Look at you. Cool. So now it's gonna happen. What's gonna happen, you guys? I hope we get, I hope everybody's okay. Oh, oh. She looks just like semi bewildered. Like, ah, what what was that? <laughs> hey, that looks like uh, the guy from my my seventy six character. He also looks like one of my four characters, but I hey. thought it'd be confusing if I made them all look the same. For me, I, 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 I don't I don't care if you guys find it confusing. Hey. I would find it confusing. I mean, I care deeply what everyone thinks. Everyone's opinion is important to me. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. But you know, they're total garbage compared to this place. 
No way. Oh yeah, I admire that vault suit. It looks so good. No, not Nate. I'll remember you, nameless man. I'll remember you. Cthulhu, what are we going to do, buddy? Oh, here we go. Back in the game. Started. Out of time. Exit Vault 111. Okay. I can probably do that and not touch everything on the way out. Hey, what do we got here? Thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Uh, the cryogenic array? Cryogenic array offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Uh-oh. Uh, life support? Life support offline. Premature termination resulting in system failure. Isolated manual and remote overrides detected. Controls disabled. Oh, well this sounds like another successful Vault Tech job if I ever heard one. Wow. Empty. Occupant status non applicable. Because it's empty, of course. And Mrs. Callahan. Occupant status. Deceased. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Okay, how about Mr. Callahan? Occupation status. Deceased. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Mr. Abel. Deceased. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Uh, life support failure. Nate and Sean! Uh, unknown. Pod door manual override engaged, of course. Maple Warlock. Uh, wait, what did it say? I skipped it. Unknown. Remote override engaged. Remote override. Who let me out? Occupant status. Deceased. Cause of death. Asphyxiation due to life support failure. Well. Well. Another successful vault tech endeavor if I ever see one. Oh, another panel. Probably says the same as the last one. Uh, yep. And yep. And oh, now we've got Mr. DiPietro, fixation. Cindy Coffin, <laughs> fixation. Sorry, Coffrin. Mr. Whitfield, fixation. Mr. Coffrin, fixation. Mr. Whitfield, fixation. And Mr. Co There's two Mr. Coffrins? Okay. Oh, no. What? Yeah, yeah, there's like a Cindy, and then there was. Okay, cool. Did that mean there was a Cindy? I could have been talk I could have been talking to Cindy like before I got into the I don't know. Why did they do this? B -b -b why? Why, <coughs> damn it, why? <coughs> Alright, calm down. Oh, screwdrivers, wrenches, a ball peen hammer. Might need some tools to fix some stuff. Better take that all with me. Oh Hey buddy. Hopefully we find a BB gun before too long. We can fix them. Fix their little red wagons. I'm gonna need some cigarettes after this. No more cigarettes. All the cigarettes. Coffee cup. More cigarettes. Uh, security terminal. Uh, okay, security instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Security eyes only. One violation VTP 01011. Fault 111 is designed to test the long term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining installation integrity and monitoring science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Operations Protocol Manual. Oh, geez, there's a bunch of them. Residential. Okay, upon activation, notice from Vault Tech, all personnel are required to report to the entry area and assist with admittance to Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for resident intake and escort each of to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detained forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their observation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault dispose of the... Wow, okay. That's harsh, guys. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Uh, that was the staff duties, right? Oh, no. Wow, there's a lot of, like, sub-things in this. We'll read them in a second. Okay, security logs. October 23rd, 2077. God, it finally happened. The world's over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Egghead's 
tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we were smiling at them while all, all that, all that time before putting them on ice. Yeah. Shouldn't we have told them something? Shouldn't you indeed? Then December. Christmas underground. Got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. I thought those things never went bad. None of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret only for the higher ups? Whatever. Just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we then we can start rebuilding. Uh, merch. Okay, only a few weeks left in our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir-crazy. Some people are even saying the all-clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer. That's for sure. It's just it's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same break room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that oh, we only have enough food left for another few months. Tops! The overs... The tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient. Focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on. I just know it. Uh, the main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He is one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times and a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staffers and security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. <laughs> Last entry. No all clear from vault is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never knew a man that that small could shout that loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight, or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of the out of this vault. Cool. And then staff duties. Oh, science staff. Members of the research team must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity is particularly, in particular, must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished well in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to overseer discretion. And security personnel, uh, security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by vault and the facility services and maintenance due to the nature of Vault 111, personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribution of these roles is left to overseer discretion. And the all-clear evacuation, all-clear message. Following a nuclear event, Vault Tech will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, Subsequent attacks and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault Tech personnel will be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with vault Tech, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. vault Tech will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 staff has been evacuated. And the mandatory shelter period is Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from Vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during the shelter period unless receiving the all-clear message from Vault Tech. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hello? He hello? Oh, God. They were not keeping maintenance up, it seems. It's a rusty old mess. Someone was neglecting their duties. <laughs> Duty! Oh. Are you gonna are you gonna come and get me? What are you doing, bud? Oh. What's in here? We got... Oh, oh God. Yeah, they were neglecting their duties, I think. This is not a clean shower. Okay. Oh, just a beer bottle. That's no fun. Pack of cigarettes. A cigar box, but not cigars. Yeah, that's okay. And, ooh, a recreational terminal. What's on here? 
Okoroko. Blah, 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 blah. Overseer. Remember, use of the recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege may be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Oh, no. Uh, top ten. Look at you. Look at you all. Oh, no. Play tape. What do we got? Oh, Red Menace. Nope, wrong button. Oh, here we go. I lied, guys. This is what I'm actually going to... I'm going to make an entire series of these where we're just going to play Red Menace. Yes, this is what we're doing now. This is our life. This is our life now. The world's destroyed, and I give up. Oh, wait. I bet those, those might fall down, so we're going to try to avoid them. Ha 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 ha. Oh. oh, crap. Yep. Ha ha ha. Oh. Ready? That's enough red menace. Quit the game. Yes. And it checked the hollow tape. Red menace ended. Hey, hey. Now let's get out of here. We got more rochis in here, do we? Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, more of them. Little punk. Can't even handle me, son. Think you're bad. You got nothing on me, stomping bugs. Oh. Some more cigarettes. Can't have enough cigarettes. Oh, and some more cigarette. Or no, sorry. Ten mils. Ten mils. There, cigarettes. Nice. Coming back later for you. I'll start taking bets now that I forget to come back for that thing ever. I bet it's cool. Looks cool. Okay, so this is the same, uh, oh, Overseer Instructors. Vault 111 is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Their staff, your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Under no circumstance is suspension to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to evacuate prematurely are capital violations. Unused cryogenic pods are the preferred method of cadaver exposer, disposal. Oh, that's nice. Cry later. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time as we wait for the all-clear signal. And by the time I get out of here, this is probably going to be Operation Thriller. I've already read these, right? Yep, I read those. And the Overseer's Log. Preparations. The final staff orientation is complete. All but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. Vault Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time. I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. October 23rd. It's happened. We were lucky that most of the staff was nearby when the early warning came through. We had less notice than expected, but only Nordhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. Is that, is that me? I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happen so fast for those people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. So did vault set the bombs off? Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having near heart palp palpitations. 
Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started thawing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in Vault Tech's remote override systems may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Yeah, I bet it totally wasn't Vault Tech just messing with things to see what happens. They'd never do that. Never. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that, and despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure would still be potent enough to fly, fry any everyone in the vaults. Seals are breached that early. If the seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. And mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots. I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. Just irradiated to death. I'm cons consolidating the, rema the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with the rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. What a dupe. And that should be everything. Oh, open evacuation tunnel. Personnel, personal evacuation tunnel is now open. Remind all staff to be orderly and follow shutdown protocols before exiting and resealing Vault 111. Please maintain all staff records and research. Report to your local Vault Tech superiors for debriefing and further instruction. Well, I better get off to the Vault Tech superiors. Let them know how the experiment went. With a gun equipped, you can hold LT, Dave. Yeah, I bet you can. But I'm just going to run down the hill here and go. Why waste ammo and bugs? Oh, jeez. Left all that delicious rad roach meat. Never know, that rad roach meat might be all I have to eat for a long time. Oh, you know, you see me coming. Oh, press RS to sneak. Do 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 do. Did anyone get out? All right, all right, all right. Getting all antsy pantsy there, buddy. We got anything else laying around here? Anything down here? Just some gungy water. Yep, just some gungy water. Can I drink it? Oh yeah, good water. A little radiation never hurt anyone. A little. Little radiation never hurt anyone. I thought there was a second vault suit here somewhere. Or I mean I've never done this part before. I have no idea what to expect. Like I can say I'd like to know what they use for a battery that this thing's still working, but atomics. Of course. What else would they be using? Sounds like we might be ready to leave the vault. Is that something? That is nothing. So yeah, let's do a little plug and play here, yep. Boom. Vault door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. Mind the gap. Yep. Come on. Cool guys, so I might uh we might end the video right here. For now, I know I didn't really accomplish a whole lot, but um, my thought the it's, it's getting kind of long. Yeah, so um, we'll uh, maybe pick up the next one. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll play this again, but next time we'll uh, explore. So we'll, we'll we're gonna leave the vault and we're gonna see what we find. So uh, until next time, guys. It's been the Maple Warlock. Thanks for watching. Uh, the I'm gonna do it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the channel. If you didn't, hey. I'm glad you made it this far to at least hear me say, cool, then don't bother. I, you know, no, no skin off my teeth. I no skin off my teeth. Anyway, guys, cheers.